All right, guys, we've got some more business to take care of here while we're waiting for more Spirit Halloween stores to open. If you haven't watched it yet, go back on my channel and watch the grand opening of the Spirit Halloween flagship store. I did an interview with Brick Thunder. I saw all kinds of awesome people there. It was absolute chaos in that store. There was like 3,000 people there or something. Absolutely nuts. But anyway, while we are waiting, for new stores to open. I wanna take a look at a couple more animatronics that I did not see in the store. I know they had them for sale, but they did not have them set up. And if they did, I completely missed them. One of those we're gonna look at right now, and it's called the 6.6 .6 foot straw man animatronic. A lot of people love this guy, and I even saw somebody setting one up in the parking lot of the Spirit Halloween. I can't remember who that was right offhand, but if I remember it, I'll put it right here and you guys can go check out their video. Anyway, let's get down to this. I'm gonna read some of the description here. It says, back in the day, Straw Man was a gentle farmer who loved the great outdoors and tending his crops. Then the chemical plant exploded nearby, contaminating the fields. Now, <laughs> I just love these things. Now, instead of protecting the lands he once cult cultivated, he feeds on destruction and is always on the prowl, setting traps for the unsuspecting, eagerly sinking his razor-sharp tools into their tender flesh and stuffing their mouths full of straw before they can scream in terror. <laughs> I love that description. That's like my second favorite description I've read this season. The first one was the rat girl. So, okay, let's go ahead and look at a picture here. And this guy, he is tall and super thin, just over six and a half feet tall. I love his hat. I love his uh, straw hair, his yellow eyes. Everything about this guy looks so awesome. Um, and he's classic, too. He's like a classic scarecrow. He's got the, uh, the little patch on his pants there. And I love that, like, waffle print on his shirt. That is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and look at some more pictures here. So here's one from the front without the background. Here's another one that's slightly to the side. I love how his head is just slightly cocked over to the side. That makes him that much more creepy. Here's a complete side view. Look how tall and skinny he is. There's another one that's kind of from the front to the side. Here's a close-up of his face. And look at this face. That looks really good. He's got like the burlap face. And then his mouth is sewn shut with what looks like bailing twine or something. That is pretty awesome, I like this guy. And, and this angle is funny because it makes it look like he's got such a super thin, stick thin body and a ginormous head. And then there's the picture where they compare to a six foot man. So let's go on back up here and bring up the video. Whenever he was set up in the parking lot at Spirit, I just saw from a distance, because I was, I don't know, busy getting pictures with people or something. Um, so I haven't heard anything that this guy says. I have no idea how he sounds. I really don't even know how he moves. Um, I think I came upon one video of him and I shut it off. Because like I said before, when I see these things, I'd like to see them for the first time while you guys are experiencing it with me. So let's get these headphones on, see what this guy does. Here we go. Six and a half foot straw man animatronic. Did you know that this land is cursed? The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is really cool. It's so simple. But it's really cool. I like his movement. 
I love how his head and his upper body just kind of move in that cocked sideways kind of movement. That makes it so creepy. And his voice is perfect too. Plus his mouth moves. That's, that's awesome. I love that. I hope I get to see him in a store set up, but I don't know. Um, like I said, there was a couple of them for sale at the Spirit in New Jersey, but I didn't see one set up anywhere. So, all right, guys, that's just a quick look at the Straw Man animatronic. You've probably seen it already all over YouTube, but this was my first time seeing it. And just like with all the other ones, I want to see them for the first time with you. So stay tuned. We have at least one more to go, if not more. Ah, 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 ah!